I haven't, I haven't really done much today, um, except think about this show the entire day. And um, I did get tacos. Has anyone ever had tacos? <laughs> it's important to establish common ground in the beginning, guys. Uh, I actually uh, I went to my favorite taco spot. I'm sure you've all, you've all been there. Uh, it's called Tacos Por Favor. That's what I'm talking about. The best part about this place is that you can just open the door, walk straight up to the counter, and say, Tacos Por Favor. <laughs> and you're set. Right, Zach? So bro, you look like a different version of me, kind of. <laughs> You're, like, moving your arms. That was a compliment. And, uh, yeah, we look like we would go to IHOP at 2 a.m. after smoking weed and call it an adventure. <laughs> Dude, last night was a movie. Those fucking... I fell asleep at IHOP one time. <laughs> Literally. And someone paid... I was wearing a Hugh Hefner costume. And three of my friends were also wearing the same Hugh Hefner costume. <laughs> oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. Um, this is just an awesome show, uh, not because I got to tell you guys about tacos, but because uh, my grandpa's also here. Give it up for him. Yeah. He used to always give me these, like, words of wisdom growing up and all these sayings, and I, just, I always just brush it off. Like, you know, what does is, what is this old fart know, right? What does this old fart know? And then last week he told me that he used to date a Playboy model, so now I just listen to everything that this guy says. <laughs> you could have told me that 20 years ago, Grandpa. <sighs> Let me tell you guys. Miss November 1963. <sighs> just a baddie, dude. I don't know about today, but... Uh, I know. She's got it going. A lot, of, uh, a lot of big things have been happening in my family. My older sister just moved in with her boyfriend. Uh, my younger brother just moved in with his girlfriend. And I just moved in with my grandpa. <laughs> you know. Just two bachelors hitting the town. <laughs> you know, as we do. I, we went to the bars last night. I mean, it was his idea. I was, I was tired. He called me a pussy. He said, let's go. <laughs> and... We get there, and I see this girl at the bar just standing by herself. So I, I went up and started talking to her. You guys know how I do. And uh, started talking to her. And I said, my friend that I'm with thinks that you're cute. Hey, Grandpa. You ruined my life, lady. <laughs> how can you sleep at night? I told her, before you interrupted me, that... <laughs> My friend over there thinks you're cute, and uh, lo and behold, we look over, my grandpa's sleeping in the booth. <laughs> oh. I told my friends that I took him out, and they're like, dude, you're a bad grandson for taking your grandpa to the bars. And I was like, I, I, I guess, kinda. If I was a good grandson, I would have taken him to a strip club instead. <laughs> Miss November, 1963, she might have been there, honestly. Um, has anyone ever had tacos? Oh, never mind. We talked about that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, this is the Q&A portion of the show, by the way. Everyone, this is, this is my uncle who's here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not my uncle. This guy looks like a youth football coach. I don't know why he's giving me a speech. <laughs> uh, you know, Charlie Sheen actually lives in uh, my grandpa's building. And uh, he lives in the halls. I mean, no. He, he, <laughs> I mean, he walks the halls. And um, I met him. I met him recently, and I said, you know, Charlie... This is dope. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. This is the best day of my life. And Charlie looked at me in the face and said, get a better life, dude. <laughs> you guys have been fun, except that all the ladies that interrupted me, but keep it going for the rest of the show. <laughs>